Hello everyone, we will continue the topic control break statements or control break events and we are discussing the important points which we must take care while writing or while using control break statements or events. And in the previous video, we took one column order number in the internal table which is on the left hand side of payment mode and our output completely, completely impacted. And what is the solution for the same? In that case, what is the solution? Whatever the field name you are specifying in at new or at end of, take it as a first position itself. If nothing is on the left hand side of that, Yes, you will always, always get a correct output. Now, how we will do that? What is one solution? What is one solution? We will take payment mode as first position. Order number as second position. And same to same sequence we will change in the query. Payment mode, order number total amount. So now if we will go for this thing, so our payment mode is at the first position in the internal table. Then we have order number and then we have total amount. Suppose if I am running the program, have you seen? The output is corrected now because we took the payment, we took the payment mode at the first position itself. But now this is not a best program, but this is not a best programming practice. If you know, we already covered a best programming practice that your fetching sequence must, must match the data dictionary sequence. As of now, we fetched what? Payment mode first. Then we fetched order number. And then we fetched total amount. But what is best programming practice? Order number should be first. Then we have payment mode. Then we have total amount. So we will go by same to same way. So order number first. Based upon best programming practice. Yes, we should follow the same to same sequence as that of data dictionary. Now we will go for same to same here also. Now, what is the other way now to resolve this particular issue? Now, what we will do? Our data is coming into this internal table. In this internal table, order number first, payment mode second, total amount third. So what we will do? We will make one another temporary internal table. So if I want a, another temporary internal table, yes, I want a structure type, yes. So I created one more structure type. Suppose this is LTY data one. In this temporary structure, I will take payment modes mode as first position, order number as second position. Because just think, we want order number also in the output. So we will take order number, yes. As of now, we will not dream, yes. So we have payment mode, order number, total amount. We will declare another internal table and work area. So this is LT data one, LTY data one, LWA data one, LTY data one. So we created one temporary structure type, temporary internal table, temporary work area. Or you can understand we created one more structure type, one more internal table, one more work area, which has payment mode at the first position. Now from this internal table, we need to put data. We need to pass data to this internal table. 
बिकॉज इन दिस इंटरनल टेबल पेमेंट मोड इज एट द फर्स्ट पोजिशन एंड दिस इज अवर सोल्यूशन फॉर द रिक्वायरमेंट फ्रॉम दिस इंटरनल टेबल we need to pass data to this internal table and you all know very very well yes whenever you want to insert data to internal table what is the internal table operation append append so we will put a loop on to this internal table one by one we will insert that data to this internal table so how i will write loop at lt underscore data one into sorry loop at lt data into lwa data for every loop there is a end loop so one by one record will come to this work area now we want to insert that data we need to insert that data to this internal table what is the syntax for append statement append work area to internal table it means from this work area firstly i need to pass this to this work area then i will insert to internal table so let's see how i will write what is your second work area lwa data 1 order number suppose firstly we will take payment mode itself so there will be no confusion what is second work area first column payment mode it is coming from first work area payment mode we all know values always pass from right to left control d control d you all know control d is the shortcut to duplicate a line then we have order number then we have total amount this is our order number this is our total amount so one by one we are passing that data to new work area now from the work area we will append it to new internal table so this is the way how you can resolve that issue and we all know what is best programming practice we should always clear the work area after the append statement so from this internal table from this internal table we fill this internal table in which payment mode is at the first position now rather than lt data now we need to use which internal table our new internal table so this is our new internal table this is our new internal table new work area new work area new work area so this is the way how you can go for the solution now i will show you in the debugging mode these are the various may ways to resolve the issue we covered one way when which we change the query sequence itself but that is not a best programming practice so what we took we took one temporary internal table in which payment mode is at the first position from that internal table we fill this new internal table now i will show you in that debugging mode will not go for any payment mode so now we will firstly execute the first query as of now first internal table has zero records so now we have 10 records in the first internal table in this internal table first column is order number only now we will simply simply go for now i am on 30th line from this internal table one by one we are passing the data to work area from the work area we are passing that data to new work area from the new work area we are passing it to new internal table suppose 
this loop will continue 10 times. Just see as of now, this new internal table is blank, zero records. So now these three statements executed and this first record went to new work area. If I will show you new work area, this new work area, what is the payment mode? C, what is the order number? One, what is the total amount? 100. This is first record. Now we insert to internal table. Just if I'll show you first inter second internal table. Now we have the first record in the second internal table. And what is the column? Payment mode. Payment mode is the first column. So this loop will continue 10 times. If I will show you. So now if I will show you the new internal table. We have 10 records in the new internal table and payment mode is the first column. As of now, it is not sorted. Now we will have the sort statement will work. Now you can see that data is sorted based upon payment. Now we are payment mode is at the first position. So there is no chance to get the wrong output at itself because there is no column on the left hand side. And you can see we have the correct output which we want. So this is the, so this is the way how you can reach up to the solution. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, we did the practical that Yes, if we do not want at new and at end of to trigger based upon the column values which are on the left hand side. If we do not want, yes, if you, we only want to trigger at new and at end of based upon the field name which we are specifying. In that case, you need to take it at first position itself. So if you want to take it as first position, you can make a temporary internal table and take that column as the first position and you can insert data to that new internal table and use that internal table to apply the control break statements or events. In the next video, we will cover few more important points related to this control break statements or events. So that's it in this video. Thank you.